Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Jurassic Quill. We are back here at Quark's uh, HQ. We did find him. Surprisingly, we did find him. He's here. He's uh, he's in his uh, in his actual lair itself. It's stuck behind some like weird force field. So we just have to open up the force field so Ratchet can get through. So we're using our good friend here, old Clank. Old buddy, old pal. Hack into the mainframe here. Oh yeah, now we can get them to attack this thing. And we can get them to enter. Right? Hey! Fucking lasers. It was like we need lasers here, just in case a robot comes in. Oh, icicles. Oh, perfect. That gives me platforms to jump across on. That's exactly what I wanted. It's missions like these that make me wonder why they thought Secret Agent Clank was going to be an actual viable, uh, an actual viable game. I might, I might play Secret Agent Clank one of these days on the channel, just because it is, it is an okay game. But it still makes me wonder, you know. Coming, monkey? Yeah, he is. Look at him go. Just a little feller there, you know? Gotta love how that guard robot just gives up after a while. He's just like, eh. Monkey see, monkey do, I guess. Great, let me guess now I gotta do some combat. I should probably take out this cannon first, eh? There we go, okay. We got him. That's doing that. Okay, I guess I gotta go through here. Yeah. Dude's died. There we go. Perfect, now I can get them to go into here.
Perfect. Now with all the monkey business out of the way, we can go and finally talk to Cork. Hey, little buddy. How'd you find me here? We found your secret vid comic, Cork. Oh, that. Well, I don't expect you to understand. You'll probably look at me and think, I'd give anything for a body like that. For just one drop of his raw animal magnetism. One iota of his impeccable... Can we just skip to the end, please? Oh, uh, let's see. Where was I? Sexy, charming, brilliant, iron, hard, abs. Ah, yes, but despite my outward appearance of utter perfection, well, um... Deep inside, you're a cowardly wuss? No, not exactly. When I escaped from that star cruiser, cheating death by mere nanoseconds, I suddenly realized something very important. I could have died! Me, Captain <laughs> Quark! Imagine an entire galaxy with no more me! And for what cause? So, a few trillion people get turned into robots. Who am I to say who should or shouldn't be turned into a robot? <laughs> You're pathetic, Quark. I can't believe I once looked up to you. Let's go, Clank. The people of this galaxy need you, Quark. They believe in you. You can give them hope. You have a chance to redeem yourself and become the hero you have always wanted to be. God, Clank is... Clank is the wisest of us all. Nothing in here hiding. Nothing in his closet or... Okay, I guess there is nothing. Alrighty, back to the ship. I'm guessing we're gonna be going back to Starship Phoenix. Load up on ammo. I still want to know if that duck gun's any good. So, uh, if you've used it in the past and you like it, let me let me know. Also, let me know what you compared it to. Where have you been? We were just. Never mind. The Phoenix is under attack. Our shields are. Sasha. The forty percent life support systems are. Oh wow. I think they're getting. Aboard the ship. Whatever's on that disc has nefarious worry. Do anything to get it back. Hey, Hotshot. If I don't get to see you again, I just wanted to say... The signal is lost. Engage the gravimetric warp drive. Wow, so I guess, uh, I guess we're going to the Phoenix. It's under attack. And, uh, I guess Ratchet's love of his life, Sasha, is also in danger? I don't know, I'm still kind of confused because they they flirted once, and Sasha didn't really take to it, then she gave him a kiss, and there's just been nothing since then. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's been like the weirdest back and forth ever. This isn't even a one-shot. I should probably use the other gun. Just because now we gotta get that some XP. And he's stuck up there. I, I, I got a feeling one of them ninjas is stuck somewhere. Do we have any new armor, I wonder? No? No new armor? Okay, so we are... Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, he's upside down. Wow, he, he's just, uh... He's just having a good time, isn't he? Huh. wonder what has to happen in a game for something like this to happen. Well, I'm gonna leave him there and uh, see what happens. Maybe he'll just teleport and kill me at some point. 
Oh, hey, this is broken. Before, what is the difference? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Who decimator ammo? Oh, is that what the annihilator is called now? It's a decimator. Do something with lasers, eh? Do we still have that thing in our air? No, we don't. Okay. Gadget spec. Quick select. There it is. Uh, I guess we haven't used this in a while. Yeah, we'll just put that there. Oh, what is that big dude? Who are you? Is that, uh, is that the destroyer of worlds right there? Well, he's, uh, dead. That's something to worry about, I guess. Oh, we have a double. Ah. Uh, didn't quite make it, but we got close. Hey, we did it. Well, you certainly took our sweet time. Hey, it's good to see you too. Is everyone okay? We're fine. You made it just in time. Any luck with the data disk? Huh. Luck, he says. Al cracked the encryption. The disk contains a complete copy of Nefarious's battle plan. He's going to attack planet after planet, leaving nothing but robots in his wake. The bio-obliterator is so well protected, Nefarious doesn't believe we can stop it. Can we? I estimate our odds at approximately 1 in 63 million, give or take. Hey, that's, uh, <laughs> well, you know, not so bad. The bio-obliterator is programmed to recharge its power cells after each attack. It's recharging at a base on planet Koros right now. And Ratchet, the next target is Velden. Why is it always Velden? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.